Hey guys, today I wanted to do something a little bit different. This friend of mine, his name's Nick, we were talking the other day and he said, hey, I have something that I want you to try out. I have this tool that I just picked up and I want you to check it out and see what you think. So he let me go ahead and borrow it. I had it for a couple of days and it comes of course in a little carrying case. It has the charger, but the best part about it is that This is the tool right here. This is the M Spectre 360. That's just what he got. That's what he let me borrow and it's great. It's a little digital camera. And what you do is you click the button here and it turns the camera on. So now with this camera, you can go ahead and make the lights brighter and you can make them dimmer. It's really great. You can adjust this. You can set it up any kind of way that you want and it works really, really good. I took it onto a job and I went ahead and took my drill bit, my drill, with a 3 8 drill bit, and I drilled right straight on up into the ductwork. Now, once I did that, I had a little tiny hole there, and I could fit this camera right up in there. What I did is I went ahead and bent this like this, and then I just kind of fed it on up in there and I could twist this, I can turn around, and I could look inside the ductwork. One thing that I did is that I took my phone and I was trying to videotape and point this at the same time, and that was a little difficult to do. I'll show you the video in a minute, but it worked out pretty well. I could, I could, you know, I got a decent video of it, and you guys can see it, but I put this up into the ductwork, and like I said, turned it around. Here we see the light inside, and I'm changing the brightness of the light so you can adjust it and see what works better for you. I also went and I just curious, I went and looked up into the flu. I wanted to see what the flu looked like, see how plugged up it was or anything. It was pretty clear. And uh, let's take a look at that. Also, I wanted to look at the heat exchanger. Well, because this is an older unit, I drilled right into the ductwork. And I was able to get in there and look at the evaporator coil. I could see both sides of the evaporator coil. On the underside, this is an upflow, so the air and the dirt would have been going on the lower side. And I could see that there was hardly any dirt there. And that was pretty good. I was happy to see that. It saved me a bunch of work because I didn't have to cut the sheet metal away. Then, since because of where this, the way this unit, was, this unit was set up, I put this in there and I could actually look at the heat exchanger. I could get in there and look at the top of the heat exchanger for the furnace. That worked out pretty good. Also, I went down on the lower side where the burner is. 
and again I put this right into the heat exchanger and I looked at the inside of the heat exchanger like I said on the video it's kind of hard to see because I was trying to hold my phone and this and maneuver this at the same time and you know but I was able to do it without holding my phone and it were, you know I could see what was going on in there the heat exchanger looked good the burner that was in there it looked really good also and that, I was happy to see that Then I said, let me go ahead and look at the, um, at the motor, the indoor fan motor. Now, a lot of times what happens is your air comes in and it goes through the motor or around the motor. So whatever dirt may be coming through there is going to get stuck in the motor. But from what I saw, it was nice and clean. It was great. I loved it. So I didn't have to pull the whole thing out. I didn't have to you know, clean it or any of that. I also wanted to check the squirrel cage so I went over on the other side and I could see that the squirrel cage was clean I could see that it was not plugged up I could see that screw was nice and shiny that means the system is clean the squirrel cage usually they get plugged up with dirt but this one looked pretty good the customer customer was happy because of course you know how customers are they were standing there watching me well because they were standing there watching me the, you know they saw that I was using this, this tool they were impressed they liked it and I could show them what the inside of their unit looked like and it was great it's it was really good it's great when you can you know have a good relationship with your customers they keep calling you back and also they go ahead and they, they tell people, they tell their friends about you, and you have more business, more money, and of course, I'm sure everybody likes that out there. But anyway, so what did I do? I checked the ductwork. I checked my evaporator coil to see how it was on the underside because this was an upflow. I also went ahead and I checked the top of my heat exchanger. I went ahead and put it through where the burners were and I could see that the heat exchanger in there was in good condition also. I went ahead and checked out the, the return air. My squirrel cage was nice, was clean, so that was good. My motor, you could see that it was nice and clean. And, you know, if you want to, you can even use this to look down into drains. I put it down the drain just to see what, how it would do. And as you can tell, yeah, you can look in there, you can see what is down in the drain. You can see how dirty it is. You put it down in the garbage disposal. Then you see that, you know, what is in the garbage disposal. You can see what's clogging it up, what's, you know, why it's jammed. You can see if it's rusted up. But this little tool, it's great. It's a great little tool. I really liked it. I might go ahead and get one for myself. Like I said, this is the M Spectre 360 by Milwaukee. They have other ones, but this is the one that this friend of mine bought and he said, try this out. So I did, and since I liked it so much, I wanted to tell you guys about it, okay? So again, this is Julio. Hopefully this helped and hopefully this will make your job a little bit easier. Julio from Americon Academy. Go ahead and please follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. 
And if you have any suggestions or questions, go ahead and send them to me and I'll see what I can do about responding or getting those uh, other videos for you. Thank you.